Hello again friends, this is my second video in my rusted English and I hope to make it better each day. Opinion article $8,300 for each Swiss Proposal by the Swiss Federation Chancellery The Swiss National Bank wants to make the franc cheaper. The money would be transferred to all Swiss citizens. California gives out money to address inequalities. A democratic victory could be deadly for the dollar. The Hispanic vote could tip this electoral balance. Police prepare for mass election riots. The People's Bank of China strengthens the yuan to his highest level. Emotional farewell to Pepe Mujica as senator in Uruguay. Europe warns Spain against the government's judicial reform. Governments use, use health crisis to suppress dissent. Charles Ward believes that the financial restart will be before the elections. The trend towards digital authoritarianism is growing worldwide as in China. We are, we are seeing a rejection of journalistic objectivity in favor of activism. The external authority denies the inner code of the soul. I am that I am. Let's start. In Switzerland, they propose to pay over $8,000 to each and every citizen. According to the authors of the initiative, the Swiss National Bank should pay this money to reduce the value of the national currency. The Swiss Federal Chancellery has published a popular initiative proposing to pay 7,500 7, Swiss francs, almost 8,300 US dollars, to all persons of Swiss nationality. The money would be transferred to all Swiss citizens, including children. In addition, the sum, the sum would be exempt from income tax. The initiative is supported by 100,000 people by 22nd April 2022. It will be put to a referendum according to the Swiss portal Watson. If the consultation takes place, the money will be paid out no later than one year after the adoption of the project. The initiative comes from seven residents of the canton of St. Gallen who believed that this monetary policy, also known as helicopter money, would be an ideal means of making the franc cheaper again. City of California begins handing out free cash to, uh, to address inequality for blacks. The city of Compton in Southern California is launching a pilot program that aims to provide a basic income to 800 of his low-income residents without conditions. David the Compton Committee commitment, the Guaranteed Income Program will begin distributing free cash to 800 city residents in Los Angeles County over a two-year period. The mostly black and Latino city is just the la latest in a growing list of cities across the country and the world that, that that are experimenting with new ways to put money into resident hands due to the health crisis. The IMF presents the new Bretton Woods. IMF Managing Director Kristalina Georgieva gave a speech entitled A New Bretton Woods Moment, quite remarkable given that this agreement built, built our current geopolitical architecture to at the end of World War II and by the second Bretton Woods moment in the early 1970. So the end of the gold standard and the introduction of a fiduciary dollar based system that brought us to where we are today. For his part, Charles Ward is convinced that the financial restart will be before the elections. On 19 October in northern Iraq, or Iraq, Kurdistan began to pay its citizens with a new rate in dinars for the readjustment of currencies.
which is a sign of the beginning of liquidity. The United States. A democratic victory would be deadly for the dollar. Economist Peter Schiff believes that a democratic victory could be good for the stock market, but deadly for the dollar. President Trump would raise stocks and Biden is threatening to raise taxes, the specialist says, said. Trump and Biden in a new debate with microphones muted at times. After three weeks of doubt as to whether or not a new debate would be held between US President Donald Trump and his Democratic rival Joe Biden with, uh, sanitar with crisis in the White House in between, everything indicates that they will finally see each other again tomorrow. Tomorrow, today, I mean. Today, Thursday, in Nashville, Tennessee, with new rules such as microphones mu muted at times to avoid the chaos of their first meeting. Trump accusation against Biden over his business in Ukraine. In 2016, Donald Trump was hoarse about his rival. Mrs. I Mrs. Hillary being put in jail because of the controversy over her private emails containing confidential information. That strategy worked, and now he's one again leveling harsh accusations against his rival Joe Biden, calling him corrupt after the publication of an article leaked from his law firm. He's now asking for action up to the public prosecutor's office. Law enforcement agencies are preparing for massive electoral unrest with law enfor enforcement officials expecting widespread violence after the elections. Authorities have decided to plan for the West because everyone can see what is potentially coming. Trump and Biden, protagonists of the traditional Catalan Caganer figures, with their trousers lowered and dressed in a mask, President Trump and his opponent Joe Biden are the protagonists of a new range of Christmas figures typical of the Spanish region of Catalonia. Known in Catalan as Caganers, these small figures, featuring defecating characters, offered a satirical view of the year's most important events and a traditional place in, in Christmas crypts or nativity scenes, hidden from friends and family to find. He spends hours hanging from the Trump Tower, an individual, I mean, spends hours hanging from the Trump Tower demanding to speak to the President. Sunday night was especially busy for the Chicago police who spent hours negotiating with a man in his 30s who, who had climbed to the top of the site's Trump Tower hanging from his facade and threatening to jump off if he did not speak to the President of the United States. On Tuesday, he escaped from, from the ambulance in which he was being transported. A few hours later, he was arrested again. Spain. Council of Europe warned Spain that, it, that its judicial reform deviates from European standards. The president of the Council of European Group of States Against Corruption, Guarico Marin Cela, has written to the Ministry of Justice to warn it that the coalition government's legislative initiative to reduce the majority required to renew the members of the Great Council of the Ju Judiciary deviates from the Councils of Europe's rules on the composition of judicial councils and the election of their members. Sanchez cools down the possibility of declaring a curfew. The president of the government, Pedro Sanchez, stated his Tuesday that the government is going to discuss with the autonomous communities the possibility of establishing curfews to reduce mobility in the fight against the corona the, the, the crisis, after the community of Madrid has asked to study this measure. America. The Hispanic vote could tip the electoral balance. The vote of citizens of Spanish-speaking origin, today more than ever, has 
and a, sp a specific weight that could define the future of the United States and also of the world, because although there are hardly any difference between Democrats and Republicans in foreign policy, there are shades of how and when these are there are wars, sanctions or military adventures. Latinos in the United States today are the most powerful and recognized minority. They are more than 30 million eligible to vote and more than 60 million who influence and condition not only the politics but also the economic life, the economic life and the social aspect. Parents of 545 separated children not found at US Mexico border border lawyers and non-profit organizations seeking to re reunite immigrant families separated at the US Mexico border by the President Trump's government have so far been unable to locate the parents of 545 children Pepe Mujica bids farewell as Uruguayan senator. Succeeding in life is not winning. It is getting up and starting over, said. This Tuesday was not just another day in Uruguay's democracy. Jose Mujica and Julio Maria Sanguinetti, two leaders, two symbols of the country's recent history, took a step aside and the Senate bid them farewell in a legislative palace filled with applause, tears, and democratic sentiment. Mexico extinguished 109 trusts. After heated discussions in both houses of Congress, the Mexican Senate on Wednesday passed legislation that will eliminate 109 trusts that funded a wide range of activities from science to disaster relief. From now on, all these funds will be centralized by the Federation's Treasury. United Kingdom The Dutch laundry revealed by the book on the relationship between Prince William and Harry, these are turbulent times for, for the Windsor family. The British royal family has never been immune to controversy, but the confrontation between Prince William and Harry has put the institution on the ropes. The historian Robert Lysay's book on the relationship of Lady Distance, Lady Diana, I mean, Battle of Brothers has done nothing but that fuel, fuel to the fire. Brazilian volunteer who participates in Oxford injection trial dies. A Brazilian volunteer who participated in the phase tr three trials on the Oxford injection has died. The National Health Surveillance Agency Ambisa reported Wednesday. Ambisa explained that it was notified of the death on October 19, and the independent committee following the case suggested continuing the trials. The process is still being evaluated, he said. China. Chinese regime hackers are targeting, targeting US defense and security networks. The National Security Office Agency won on Tuesday that hackers linked to Chinese regime were targeting U.S. defense and national security networks and used preventive measures. China is expanding its largest maritime fleet. British Defense Secretary Ben Wallace has emphasized the new global threats, such as those posed by the Chinese regime, and has pledged to the U.K.'s support for U.S. efforts to meet these challenges. The People Bank of China strength, strengthens the yuan to, to its highest level since July 2018. The People's Bank of China strengthens, strengthened its yuan dollar exchange rate to a, 70, a 27 month high, according to data from the regulator. On 21st October, the Chinese currency exchange rate strengthened by 149 basis points to 6,000, excuse me, 6.6781 yuan to the dollar. This is the highest exchange rate yuan to dollar since 16 in 2018.
Censor. A whistleblower told to the New York Post that Facebook has a hate speech engineering team. Reminiscent of Orwell Dystopia Ministry of Truth in 1984. That includes the six China citizens who were on that team developing algorithms to censor, to censor all Trump supporters and all anti bogeyman publications. These Chinese citizens who are deploying censorship algorithms, he said, represent the same faction of the Chinese Communist Party that worked and gave bribes to Trump politicians. Human Rights Watchdog says government are using the health crisis to suppress online dissent. Governments around the world are using the health crisis to suppress online dissent, according to Human Rights Watchdog. Washington-based Freedom House said dozens, dozens of countries have cited the health crisis as a means to justify expanded surveillance powers and the deployment of new technologies one deemed too intrusive. The report says this shows a growing trend towards Chinese-style digital authorism, authorism worldwide and fragmentation of the Internet as each government imposes its own regulations on citizens. The rise of corporate censors. We are seeing a rejection of journalistic objectivity in favor of activism. The New York Times apologized for publishing a column by a senator on the use of National Guards to quell, to quell riots. However, it then published a column of a Chinese official called the Beijing Executioner, who is crushing the protests in Hong Kong. The media spent years publishing all the outlandish theories on the alleged collusion between Trump and Russia. Reflection. Sover sovereignty, sovereignty, sovereignty is a condition of politics. The government of a collective entity, national state of or empire, sovereignty is a collective, a collectivist concept. The self is an updated expression of voluntary consciousness, which, by its own act of self-imposition, requires no external rule of validation or validation. The cage of humanity external authorities is self-imposed, for it denies the inner soul code of the divine quantum I am that I am. The seemingly external quest for human beings to formulate structures of government over their social forms is the mechanism of slavery. In simple terms, and especially when addressing the, the Hydra, the Hydra hidden web of control that is amplified through the chaotic political processes that are echoed through social order and the media. The self-existing and self-determining determining I am submits to all forms of, of tyranny, tyranny by projecting the self onto a non-existing entity called the other. Complaints of lack of sovereignty are in themselves self-cancelling. Is the search for external validation that invites the patients of other equal empty beings to parasi parasitically create a state, empire, principality or collective to harvest what we cannot manifest himself, what he cannot manifest himself. The only gift that a true sovereign, sovereign would bestow upon another soul is to assert their deity and leave them to their own devices. All duality arises from this design structure of power over others and its variations of control schemes. schemes. The collective is never greater, greater than the individual. It is Satan divided against himself. That's all for today, and thanks a lot.